What's up guys, it's Weston here. So today I'm reviewing the MSI X370 SLI Plus for Ryzen CPUs. So anyway, I'm not gonna waste any more time and I'm just gonna jump into it. So firstly, let's look at what you get included with this motherboard. And in the box you get two SATA cables, a rear IO cover, your manual and a software driver DVD. So onto the design and it's lovely, it's stealthy, it's clean and it's more pro looking than gamer styled. What's great about having a blank slate like this is the ability to add your own unique style. So you can add different coloured RAM, different coloured SSDs around it, uh, different coloured graphics card. You can pretty much add colour as in how you want. I'm also really liking the crisp and modern looking silver accents on the IO cover which also features some subtle branding too. These lovely accents spill across onto your heat shield and also right down to the bottom where you've got your MSI logo. Overall, I'm loving the clean and coherent design. It's just really plain and really minimal. It's just what I like. Onto the socket now, and this is obviously AM4 to support Ryzen CPUs. So I'll be testing this with the 71700, but it will support Ryzen 5 and 3 too. Processor installation is really easy, so if you're new to PC building, then you shouldn't have any problems at all. One thing to note is that if you use your Spire cooler that comes with the Ryzen 7, then you'll need to remove the pre-installed mounting to get it to fit. To the right of the socket, we have your four armor plated DIMM slots. These can handle up to 64 gigabytes of DDR4 in dual channel and can cope with speeds up to 3200 megahertz. And from what I've seen, Ryzen's do thrive on higher clock speed memory. So having the ability to have up to 3200 is pretty impressive. It also supports DDR4 boost if you feel like doing some RAM overclocking. Down towards the bottom of the motherboard and we've got your PCIe slots. These have support for two-way SLI and three-way crossfire. Both PCI slot 2 and 4 feature steel armor to help reduce GPU sag. Now this does work with lighter, smaller to mid-sized GPUs like the RX 480 that I tested this motherboard with. However, when I installed the Zotac Amp Extreme 1070, I did notice some slight GPU sag. Obviously, it's better than having non-steel armor, but I still did notice a little bit of sag. So depending on what size graphics card you have, you might notice a little bit of sag or you might not, it just all depends. So these slots are also the 3.0 X16 variety and with this Ryzen CPU that means they'll work in X16, X0 or in X8, X8 mode. Also below PCI slot number 2 is your M.2 slot. So this supports speeds up to 32GB per second over Gen 3 X4. So this gives up to five times faster read and write speed than a traditional SATA based SSD. Unfortunately, I didn't have a spare M.2 to test this with, but with my 950 Pro Samsung on the Z270, I managed to achieve 2,263 meg per second on read and 961.7 write. So this should give you a rough idea of how fast it's gonna be if you've got an M.2. Onto the isolated audio PCB and this features audio boost. It's not quite as good as Namic, what I found on the Carbon series motherboard that I reviewed, but not to worry, it still is really impressive and it does borrow some features from the higher end motherboard too. It's got depop protection, which helps eliminate that loud popping noise when you get from unplugging audio devices. It also features two layers for separate left and right channels. Although, like I said, it's not as good as the Z270 Carbon or the X370 Carbon, the audio is still great. Another great feature of this motherboard is MSI's Mystic Light. Now, this works in the form of a dedicated LED header on the motherboard. Now, I opted to connect the Spire Cooler to this, but if you don't use the Spire Cooler, then you can add an additional LED light strip. Now this is all controlled by the Mystic Light app that comes bundled on the disc and this allows you to adjust a few things. So here you can obviously turn the RGB off, you can have four different effects, up to seven different color choices and I obviously chose red because it's a Ryzen build but you can choose how you want it to look depend on what else you've got in your system. Also on the software side of things is MSI's command center and here you can control your system without the need to jump into your BIOS. With the app you can control your CPU overclock but I'd advise you do some research first and obviously do this at your own risk. 
You can also adjust your fan speeds, adjust your fan curve so you can create custom profiles and have it pretty much to how you want it which is pretty impressive. Again you don't need to go into your BIOS to do this. And finally you can overclock your RAM as well. Again do this at your own risk but it is something you can do with this app. So now let's move on to the rear IO and it is pretty full featured. So we've got a PS2 port, two USB 2.0, one DVI-D, two USB 3.1 Gen 1 which is type A, HDMI, one LAN port, two more USB 3.1 Gen 1 type A, one USB 3.1 Gen 2 type A which uses AS media for up to two times faster transfer speeds which is pretty impressive and it works really well. We've also got a USB type C which is 3.1 gen 2 and finally you have six audio ports. On to extra features now and this motherboard has six fan headers. One of these is for your CPU, one is for a dedicated water pump so if you're going for a water cooling setup then you've got the option there as well. And the other four give you the ability to add obviously additional fans to your system. There are also six SATA 6 gigabyte per second expansion slot which is plenty for all your storage needs. There's also two USB 3.0 headers obviously to connect your front panel and finally there are nine mounting holes each featuring double ESD protection which helps prevent electrostatic discharge when building your system. So let's start with this review up. For £145 I am impressed, it's very full featured, looks fantastic, it's well made, it's very durable and it has plenty of options to add and to evolve your system. The Carbon Edition does offer more in terms of audio prowess, the second M.2 slot and higher grade RGB features but if you don't really want or need that then save yourself 20 quid and get yourself one of these instead it does everything that that does but for less and there you have it that is pretty much everything you need to know so in the review I've said that the carbon edition from MSI does offer a little bit more in terms of better audio quality for gaming and for music and it also offers some greater RGB features too but if you don't want those features and you just want a really professional and classy looking motherboard that does everything that the carbon does minus the RGB and uh, better audio then I'd save yourself 20 quid 20 ish dollars and get the SLI plus instead it performs exactly the same minus the audio and the additional RGB but yeah if you're more professional orientated and you're more for say productivity tasks rather than gaming then I'd suggest looking at this board instead now it's still great for gaming don't get me wrong you can still overclock your CPU on it as well but yeah it's more I would say for the professional market than it is the game ups market so anyway, that is pretty much it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this, more PC stuff, more consumer grade headphones, earphones, Bluetooth stuff and all that on the channel as well. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and share it if uh, you feel like it. And yeah, that is it. Thank you again and I'll see you all on the very next one.